Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about Bede Lambert law. First of all, we will see the history of this law, what is its origin, where from it has come. It was P.A. Berger, the French mathematician, geophysicist and also an astronomer, who defined the quantity of light lost by passing through a given extent of the atmosphere and became the first known discoverer of what is now more commonly known as Bede Lambert's law. Then it was Lambert who observed, who analyzed the work of P.A. Berger and formulated his own law called Lambert's law. And much later it was Augusta Beer who gave his own law what's called as Beer's law, which is also a relationship between absorbance of light in relationship to the concentration of sample. Here you can see the statement of Beer Lambert's law. It is the linear relationship between absorbance and concentration of absorbent species. And the thing is that it's the combination of two laws as we have already seen here it's Beer's law plus the Lambert's law what gives us the Beer Lambert's law now we will see the mathematical derivation of this law first of all we will see how we measure the absorbance of the solution by a mathematical equation here is the sample then from here the incident light which is denoted by I naught that passes through the sample and we get the transmission of light that's only I because I naught is the incident light and I is the transmitted light and absorbance is given as A equals I naught by I and transmission is given as I by I naught now we have two different cases here because the sample can have different properties first case is non-absorbing sample what we call as transparent species or transparent sample and in the transparent sample the I naught shall be equal to or will be equal to I because the incident light is not absorbed by a sample because it's wholly and solely transparent. So we get the 100% transmission here. On the other hand, we have opaque sample in which the light cannot travel at all. So we get the 0% transmission here. So we can see here the absorbance is equal to log of 1 by t to the base 10 or it can be written as A equals log of I naught by I because here 1 by T can be written as 1 divided by I by I naught that can be written as I by I naught finally so we put this value into the equation and we get the absorbance now we will see the Lambert's law statement first absorbance of light in homogeneous solution is directly proportional to the length of sample in which the light passes which can be expressed mathematically as log of i naught by i to the base 10 is directly proportional to l and this proportionality can be converted into equality when we include the constant here that's epsilon which we called as molar extinction coefficient and mathematically we have the Lambert's law which is a equals epsilon l on the other hand we have Beer's law which states that absorbance of light in sample or solution is directly proportional to the concentration of solution in which the light travels and mathematically we can derive it as log of i naught by i to the base 10 is directly proportional to the concentration of solution and this proportionality can be converted to equality when you include the epsilon sign here that is the constant sign, sign here and finally we get the equation a equals epsilon c combining both the laws for absorbance we get a equal to log of i naught by i to the base 10 which is equal to epsilon c l or simply we get absorbance equal to epsilon c l where C is the concentration of solution in which the light travels and L is the length of solution in which the same light travels. So we get here the beard lambert law. So here we see in beard lambert law both the factors are crucial here. There is the concentration of solution in which the light travels and the length of solution in which the light travels. And when the concentration of solution is more, the absorbity of the solution will be more. And it's the same case with length. When length of the solution is more, the absorbability will be more. This was all about Beard Lambert's law. Thanks for watching the video. Do subscribe this channel so that you may not miss a video.